take over or something. It'll 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 make or I don't know. I, go I say straight to sometimes. FD I don't because even they think. hate each other. <laughs> They're gonna oh. just go right to FD. So okay. I hate Lou the Third as well. <laughs> so this really works out. <laughs> when we first came to, to New York, we definitely we had a we had a row with each other. It was nothing but shit talk between the both of us. <laughs> and then guess what? He caught the hand. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. He's uh, smacking his hands together. <laughs> but he's really good. Um, yeah. Can't remember exactly where he's from. I think he's he's a tri-stater because he's here a decent amount. I th but I, I think the way it works is he was originally from Tri-State, and then he moved to Florida, and then he mm. came back or something. I can't remember, but super Ooh. good. Vino, our, our also a New York native. It's forever, though. Oh. All right. It's weird to see a Marth get caught by that upbeat, upbeat stage. It's weird. But I guess that's the ditto. Okay. All right. It's a good thing uh, Vino got out of that because I, f I feel as though he was going to get shield poked. Mm. Um, that, that's like a, a weird situation because it's easy to react to that side B, like, of course, right? Like, you have to grab it in between the second and third one. But if you don't do that, like, you can get screwed up. And, you know, when someone does a side B, you're not expecting it sometimes. They can catch you unawares, screws with you a little. You're just like, what? what's this guy about? Twelve percent. Right. Vino extending the stock there, but like didn't get much off of it. Yeah. But I know, like like we said before, it does something to a Marth when you you can run the run the percent up on him, give him arthritis. Yeah. He was able to do a bit with his uh, right. invincibility. This is a bit of a rough spot. Uh, Lou had him in a good spot. I feel like he could have maybe done something. I don't know. I'll do it. Yep. Dang. All right. <laughs> that was an, that was definitely an art angle. Oh. All right, all right. Got to do the pivots for that. Yeah, we got got a lot of respect going on. Okay, Ooh, all right, wow. that was dirty. You know, I I don't, I don't uh, know how the <laughs> physics of Marth's sword really works, so I I couldn't tell you why that worked and why he didn't get hit by Nair there. Um, I think he hit him with a backswing, which is like guaranteed meteor or guaranteed spike. And it's definitely disjointed, so it's totally safe. All right, I'm going to take your word for it. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably talking out my butt, but if I could see chat, they would correct me. And if not, go into the Facebook group, and instead of talking to me, talk to the whole group and blame me. Hey, someone knows what's correct, and they're, ta and they're saying it in the chat. So yeah. at least people who are living in this moment and not watching it on YouTube, mm -hmm. they know. Yeah. <laughs> they know. Someone's getting corrected. All right. Um, All right. Try to keep them up there. Yeah, everybody's kind of like swinging at each other here. I feel like Vino's been side being a lot, and uh, Lou can kind of wait those out a bit more. Lou mixing up Nairing onto stage there—that was actually that was pretty dope. I also think he needs to stop side being. Vino clearly, clearly, like, yep. you know, that was a yeah, he got away with one because like doing the same thing over and over again to an absurd extent is technically a mix-up. But you don't want to do that. I don't think he even got one. Uh, he got the one right before that where he. Uh, he side beat just under stage, oh, okay, and then yeah. Vino fished for it, and then he just came up and nared him. Got okay. back on safe, but yeah, from the first side beat he did, I think Vino grabbed it. Um, the second one, I think Vino grabbed it. Um, it was. I feel like he should have. He should have cut it. Um, I think Lou does have a chance if he takes him back to FD. I wouldn't do that. I, Spoke I, too soon. I think he, he has a chance here because yeah. he got Vino in the air. He was, when they were both on the ground, he's kind of not giving Vino the hands or nothing, but he, he like know, I he respect opening. I respect keeping the game simple, but I feel like these, this character is so much more fun to play when there's platforms because he's a slippery motherfucker. Like, he he moves. He moves and it's fun. But instead, oh, that was sick. That was that sick. looked so weird. Did it not? Did it, yeah. look, I, it was so high up and so slow, <laughs> but I think that's what made it work. Um, and this is the difference. Like Vino, when he has him in the air, he's he's punishing. Um, and it's not like Lou isn't getting him up in the air. Maybe they're even getting each other in the air the same amount. I I feel as though Lou's getting him in the air even more often than. Yeah, more opportunities, but less damage off it. Yeah. Uh, if he was courageous, he would have gotten that bear, but he still got the stock. So. Oh. Chats out to Vino. Yeah. I'll also say that Lou's uh, recovery this set has been a, a fairly lackluster. 
Um, he's done a couple side B's above the stage. Um, I think he's got that Marth's bad at recovery mentality, so when he's down, he's just like, I'm just going to throw like the the thing out there and hope hope he fucks up. Yeah. It, it feels like Vito's been tricking him. Like, Ooh. look at that. That like he could have at least sweet spotted. I, I think. Ooh, that was that was excellent. Yep. Though. No, no, no shit to talk about that. Yep. <laughs> HD spacing right there. All right, both All right. players getting a little uh, trying to slow it down. See, he's even. It's crazy because he's doing better stuff to Vino when Vino's in the air. It's just like. He's not capitalizing. He got Vino to jump there, um, and nothing yeah. happened. Vino has now gotten back to ledge safely like 10 times in a row, and he's the one who kills himself. So, so I don't know what what that says about what's going on here, but I don't think either player's edge guarding very, very well. See? I think, I think Vino has been doing a decent job of edge guarding, but I think that's mostly on Lou's uh, choice of recovery. Oh. Okay, great F smash. I'll, I'll say one thing. He really knows when to, Still get back. to throw out some hard moves. Like it's it's like he has a hard read on Vino a lot of the time. Yeah, he, he uses them to break tempo a lot. Like as soon as someone gets close enough after a while of feeling each other out, he's just going for the home run. But he's clowning Vino this game. I didn't even realize. Honestly, I did not realize. Yeah, um, yeah, because Vino's been doing a lot of things really well. Like getting back to stage pretty successfully, like a high percentage recovery rate. Great up smash there, and that should be, okay. I yeah, mean. see, He's getting back. Just gets an opportunity for a gimp here, might get it. Oh, got fooled, got tipped. What was great about that last interaction is uh, Vino jumped the gun very early, just because I think Lou has been jumping the gun early with his recoveries. Um, so the mix-up game finally reared its head and Lou won. All right, this time he, now he's just going to wait for him to try and go to stage, use that mix up. All right, it's not, this ain't Fox, so he's going to have to do work to bring this back, but. Uh, Mark Dittos, you die at 20, you die at 140. That's what it feels like. Ooh. All right, this might be it. Nope, he went high. He's waiting for the tournament winner, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> which, I mean, that's a read to make. Yep. But Yeah, if he got it, he was toast. Like if he if he got it, ooh, nice. Yeah, if he got hit by that fairy, would have been toast. But tiny fist bump. I think that's that's great. If Lou lost that game, it could have been rough. It's rough to lose a game where you have a a three stock, mm -hmm. two stock, lead, whatever. Um, three to one stocks, and like ah. Uh. We're gonna this. It's gonna be like this, isn't it? I mean, this uh, is great. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're playing well. I just want to see some stuff. Like, I want to see some platform stuff. I want to see some variables in here. Yeah. Dang. And that's that's why that happens, you know. All right, Mark you know, coming out a little more aggressive here off the bat. Finally, bearing off stage, trying to throw that out there, for better or worse. He got away with it, so. Vino started walking, and I think it was an accident, but it looked so confident. I thought he was just going to throw out a tipper and destroy him. I was like, oh, man. I was ready to pop off. All I right. do love when Vino gets savage. Like, once in a blue moon, he'll Dark. do something that's just... Wait, once in a blue moon, Vino and I are in a group chat, he'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Vino will come out. and uh... Oh. Called it. Oh, yes. All right, so Vino not going for the Ken combos like Lou is. Uh, he went for a Ken combo, but he thought that Lou would DI down. Mm. At least that's what it looked like. Oh, oh true, because he like he dared early. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't take him out. He was hoping he would DI in or something. Yeah. I feel like that's more of a Fox thing. I feel like it's a little bit more guaranteed against Marth, but I don't mean Marth, so I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> down tilt. Oh. Oh, that grab. All right, got him with the. Right. Oh, that's uh, in Philly we call that the Expelleramus. Oh, that was that was dirty. <laughs> the, the F tilt. Yeah. Like a like a Harry Potter. Yeah. Like yeah. Wand. Fair. Um, ooh. All right, so Vino like had his shit together and just kind of got killed there. Yeah. Like, 
Like when he took that last stock, he's looking like solid. That was an excellent recovery out of blue. Well, it was an awful recovery into an amazing recovery. <laughs> he just Agree. keeps up being so early. It's crazy. Um, oh. Wow. <laughs> Marth has so much control when he when you're on the edge. That's he just exudes it. But throwing out Thunder Cats, man. And Lou has been especially oh. good. Once Vino gets on the edge, it's it looks like that's where he's mostly taking these stocks. Oh, oh. <laughs> tried to steal that one. Tried to, to cover his tracks with the side B. He thought Vino would just get up or something. Wow. That was actually excellent. Um, he abused Marth's crouch, which improves Marth's uh, power shielding. When Marth is crouching, it's a lot easier for him to power shield. Uh, and he waited for Vino to throw out an aerial, power shielded it, went for an F smash. Didn't work out, 